Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So I wasn't actually going to make a video today, but um, I'm trying to get a few buggies ready for um, a beach session tomorrow. And I thought I'd just throw some basic radio gear in the Dynastorm just to get it running so I can do some footage of it. Um, so I've, I've put a, just the 20 turn Saturn um, like stock motor in. It's, got, it's on a 2S and just a very cheap bog standard um, brushed speedo. So I just put it on the floor just to give it a quick run around and this happened. So straight away I just assumed it's obviously this fancy clutchy wasn't it? The, oops, what the term is? The Tamiya MDC which is multi-disc clutch system. Um, so I messed around with that. Um, obviously you just adjust this nut. Um, and I did it gradually and kept testing it and it was still doing it until I'd absolutely I'd, I'd actually nipped this all the way up and it was it was fully tight it was still doing it so I contacted my buddy Lee who's helped me out he's a bit of a dinosaur expert and he said it looks like it's it probably the ball it is it is feels very free not very free but possibly too free for a ball diff. so I, need, I needed to establish whether it's the clutch or is it if the ball diff spinning. So when I put my thumb, so that the clutch unit is full up, that's as tight as it'll go. So if I hold the left wheel down, put my thumb on the spur gear and I do that, you can feel it. And that's obviously the diff turning. Ah, nothing's ever straightforward in this world, is it? So I guess, take the tension off the clutch just wind that back to where it was and once we get the diff tight we can adjust the clutch as it's supposed to be. Right let's figure out how to get into this ball diff. Right that was a bit of a mission um, non-stop on messenger to uh, my buddy Lee. Um, so anyway eventually got to the bottom of it by I was doing it the wrong way around um, and I was just actually turning the locking nut which was stupid it wasn't achieving anything so we've got it adjusted so now if i hold the spur gear of these tools it's much tighter it's not tight but it's obviously it's not as free um, and if i hold the left wheel down and the spur gear instead of slipping it now turns the wheel um, so now i've slackened the clutch off um, and i guess i'll put the motor back in and then we'll put some power through it and then we'll we'll adjust this clutch unit. Right, so on the clutch itself, you have this little wheel here, which you just turn slightly to the left and then it pops off, and that allows you to get your, um, to tighten the nut up. Now I've slackened this all the way off, so I'm just gonna finger tighten it very, oop, very slightly. That'll do, but I mean, that's hardly anything. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just go give it a quick blast outside and uh, see how she runs. to be honest well chuffed with that so I was in a rush to get this done so I can get some get it on the sand tomorrow but I'm, I'm, I'm glad I made a decision to do it because obviously we've got that issue fixed now and I didn't know that issue, issue existed so well chuffed with that so apologies for the raw video um, but I just thought I'd post it up in case anyone didn't know about this setup because I know I didn't um, so once again guys thanks for watching it's much appreciated and if you are new to this channel if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us That'd be much appreciated. And as always, guys, happy our seeing.